Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the next part of my noble housing tutorial from Emperor. This is XF Stef here and uh, let's get on with it. So uh, basically I do have almost everything down. Uh, I'll just have to take a look a bit around and see what whatever I've been missing if there is something missing. So it's always good to check out your uh, at first to check out your heroes the first thing that you do when you start a new game. Now my army is building up quite nicely. I did put down here four units, and um, because of the fact that we still have some unemployment and might still gain some more unemployment by uh, or more workers by uh, raising the the wages, uh, that means that I will most probably be able to put down uh, the rest of the eight uh, forts that I have in here. Good, so let's check out, start by checking out some places where y that could be done. Money print. Do I have the money printer down? Yes, I do. Okay, good, good thing. Um, good, so let's just, I would say this should be a good place right here. Nuwa is arriving, I don't care. Oh, I think I did want to check out if I have all the animals. Where's my palace? Where my palace at? Oh, I actually have no animals. Okay, so, oh, yeah, I remember now. Nuwa was supposed to come over here and help me with the with the animals and everything. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter right now. Let me just get up my... Uh, she'll come back. Let me just get my, my army up. This will be the f uh, crossbowmen, the infantry, the cavalry, and of course... The catapults. And of course, okay, employees needed, but we can always raise them, and we've got a lot more. So it's it's a very good idea to spread your troops around your city, uh, so that in the event of an attack, you'll have troops everywhere for you to uh, to use. Let me see if I can just. This should be the next perfect position for them. I'll put one of them here. Actually, I'll put the crossbowman there. Nua arrives. Okay, go and get me some animals, Nua. And the infantry should also be placed over here. I guess that's gonna be okay. Cavalry. And now the catapults. Don't forget the roads, of course. And the extra inspector's tower. And voila! Zero workers needed. Okay, five workers needed. Uh, but at least we've got all 12 forts down. As you can see, the maximum amount of forts has been reached. Let's see how Nuwa is doing. She's still on her way to get us some new animals, which is always a good thing. Uh, let's see how our armies are doing. We're already starting to uh, raise the number of heroes that we have, of um, troops that we have. Make sure that Nuwa uh, is pleased as she go, uh, goes and gets your animals. And in the meantime, we can use uh, a bit of a, a change to check out what's been going on on the city map. Now, at this point, we have uh, four trading partners Zhongyao, Pingyao. Chengdu and Kashgar, of course. And the next thing that you need to do is uh, check out which one of these guys interests you the most. Now that we have our army uh, go growing, we can uh, finally send Lhasa an, inv an invitation to trade with us. Uh, and if you have other people like the Mongol Empire or the I don't know, the Northern guys, I forgot how what they're called, you can also uh, send them invitations as well. Good, and uh, silk, cabbage, weapons, let's see, so I'm not making any steel myself, I have to import the whole thing, first of all, oh my goodness, she's still on the way, how much time does she need, okay, I clearly have pheasants and salamanders on this map right here, and I'm making silk, 
should be giving something to this guy as well because he don't look too too happy. Ten, ten satchels should be enough. I don't want Noah to get, uh, leave our city. Good. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry because I'm whispering. Uh, it's just that I have a... I'm, I'm quite thirsty and I did one video before this one and uh, another video today uh, like in the morning the one about Caesar 4 um, obviously if we start to look a bit uh, and compare the two games obviously the graphics are a bit more shiny in this game because of the fact that it's much more easier to uh, collapse buildings when did that happen it's much easier to draw in 2D than uh, to make them in uh, three dimensional objects. Obviously, we already have four shields down, which is going to make uh, us quite powerful in the region quite fast. Okay, so zero types. Why isn't she hunting animals? Maybe she needs some. Uh, that should make. Oh, I actually have panda bears as well. Good, 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 good. Let's check out our, our economy really quickly. I'm getting 22k from taxes, 14k from exports. Um, not bad. <laughs> all in all, that's not bad at all. Uh, the uh, the housing block is standing, no problem. This one has 18 houses, I think, but I did make one with 21 houses, which were also in uh, you know working, which was also working perfectly. I think 21 is the highest number that you can go. Uh, I'm not sure it's possible to go even further or even higher than that. Let's see, I'm selling silk and I'm buying steel. Good. I'm buying steel and I'm selling silk. Good. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Trade agreement rejected, of course, because they are assholes. But I'll be able to get these assholes under my influence. Uh, just as soon as I get my whole army up. I have unemployment? How is that even possible? Okay, so uh, apparently I have unemployment. This this house looks pretty darn well. Okay, so I have pheasants. She should go and get me some, some panda bears, bears as well. The moment you do have an animal, or you did get all of the animals that you have on your map, the types of animals of course, the next best thing to do is to start by sending one animal to one of your neighbors. No, not pheasants. I already have pheasants. Are you crazy? Okay, it looks like I'll have to be uh, have to keep her around a bit longer than I've expected. Anyway, getting back to the subject, the moment that you do get all of the animals that you can have, then. Uh, Oh yeah, great, great going. Okay, get your ass over here and get me some panda bears. You can send them to your neighbors and be sure to send just one of them at one time. Fishing quay is down. Oh, I'm guessing that's why I'm, I've got unemployment. Although, a fishing quay is certainly not 40. Just 10 employees. I thought so. Or is there something... No, there's, there's nothing going on. Oddly enough. Okay. Now please get me some other animals. Okay, a panda bear. Great going, great going. Okay, so let me just finish the idea. You send one animal as a gift to one of the cities, uh, preferably not one of them that hates you like displeased. I wouldn't send uh, animals to someone that is displeased with me or angry. Um, and in a couple of months after they receive it you should also receive a gift from them with an animal that you don't have and that you might need okay time to get us ourselves some salamanders which are quite big i mean salamanders are still you know like small lizards <laughs> nothing why is Oh, they need 40 blocks of wood. Okay, 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 I forget. I forget. It doesn't matter. 
Can she get an animal now? Let me just bribe her a bit. A bit more. That should keep her busy for a while. Just, just stay here. Okay, go there. Ah, freaking animals. I have to run around for them. <laughs> the industry is going well, everything is going well, the army is, is uh, increasing. Okay, new one is here, she can get me an animal. Great going, great going. So at this point I'll be having three types of animals out of the um, maximum uh, nine. Okay, 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 okay. Also try to send animals, you know, think about uh, uh, about it a, a bit. Don't just send, you know, if you have, for example, uh, pheasants uh, or antelopes, actually antelopes is okay, but if you, have, if you have pheasants, it's not a good idea to send them anywhere east or south of your position because probably those people will have pheasants as well. So try to send pheasants to the north or to the uh, west where there are no pheasants like in the jungle so for example right now I'll send these guys that are like in the steps in the northern steps I'll send them um, a, a panda bear which I don't think that they have also don't send the same animal to more cities at once because the AI will think that you just need one animal and uh, then all of the cities that you've sent the, the respective animal to will actually reply to your to your uh, gift with an animal of their own but the animal will be the same for all of them like you'll get I don't I don't know four to, to ten maybe even more of the same type and that's just going to be a waste of your type of animal so to say oh great I hit I hit this fishing quay Okay, I don't even know if, I'm, if I need it. Basically, I don't need it. If I think about it, nah, I definitely don't need it. Screw that. And screw the road as well. Good. Uh, let's speed up the, the game a bit, because I really want to... People expect less. Housing shortage, which is perfect. There's one house that... It's causing me trouble. But I don't know where. Anyway, let's just... Speed up the game a bit. Um, obviously... Wood is a problem for me right now because of the fact that... Um, I'm not making any crossbowmen or, or catapults at this time. Am I importing wood? I think I'm importing wood or not. Oh, I'm actually logging it myself. Where are the logging sheds? I've got two of them here. That's it? I only have two logging sheds? Shongdu becomes hostile. That won't last for, for long. Okay, so that's why I'm not making any wood. Actually, no. Another two of them here. Why don't I check, just check the industry? Yeah, I have four wood-making industries in the whole city. It's not that much, actually. Uh, always remember to keep your, your guts at least moderately satisfied. Um, your main your main concern are the ancestral gods because all of the other ones will remain content uh, even though you never gave them anything and you probably never will so then let's see who's Zhongdu these guys are Zhongdu and they have freeze okay so it would be it would probably be probably be wise to start start off with these guys because you know people think that they can just mess up with you uh, when really they cannot now when you're sending forces to attack be sure that you use uh, alert tiger uh, That's what I like at least and just get a normal tribute of cash 
Um, the invasion location does not count right now because you cannot spy their maps uh, like you would in a, in a multiplayer game. I strongly recommend recommend you uh, scouting their maps uh, in a multiplayer game and sending you know like um, uh, different types of, of attacks like infrastructure, or industry, or the housing. You could just hit the, the housing one time and with a couple of units and in the invasion location that is closest to the houses. Afterwards, you could wait a couple of one months, maybe a year or something, and no, not a, a year. A whole year wouldn't be good either. But anyway, you get you get my my idea. You get my point. Also, uh, immediately after you uh, send these troops, you will probably get some messages that someone somebody else is trying to attack you, because that's just how the game works. Um, I do recommend getting Sun Tzu in your city. Uh, which that can be done quite easily by just giving him some some tea or some lacquerware. I think lacquerware and silk work a bit better than, than tea. Weapons also should be effective. Um, good. Oh, didn't see the, that one coming, but at least their shields went down to just one. So that means that uh, I'll probably uh, crush them with the next invasion. I just had five shields, I think. Okay, five shields against three usually don't win just that easy. It, it should be like a two to one chance. And as I said, Tanzu launches invasion. Wait, wait what? Tanzu? Why Tanzu? Who's Tanzu? Wait, these guys? Are you kidding me? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Really funny. They just have one shield, and I think that I c they can attack me. It doesn't matter. Just get your troops back. Uh, be sure that they are all sent back to their uh, respective forts. And Chengdu. Okay, so obviously people think that they can mess with me. Let me just slow down the game a bit. Make sure that I have enough time to send all of my units uh, back to their... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Let them come. I'll probably just bribe them off. Although crushing their forces does help in the long run because uh, they also take blows on their uh, within their military forces, so to say. Okay, I just want Sun Tzu at this point, uh, and I'm willing to give a lot of silk for it. It's not that I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm not great going. I'm not afraid of, of, of uh, the impending attacks. That's not it. Because both of, both of these uh, two cities just have one shield, so it's probably, it's probably nothing. But for your sake, I will be leaving you guys in just two months. Okay, let me just save real quickly. I'll call this five. And uh, this is what I do, like, okay, this is in one month, and these guys in two months, okay. This is what I do, one month before, obviously you cannot do this in the multiplayer, but in single player, you can just easily save one month before the attack, wait for it, and when they come, you just load the game and move your troops there. Okay, so this isn't the best location. Obviously, let me just load the game. Make sure that your game is on pause and just send your cavalry over there because it, it should be more than enough to deal with these bastards. Okay, those, are, those guys are marching. These guys will be marching, the infantry will be here. deal with them and the other cavalry as well on this side good ah I could have used some some crossbowmen but it's no it's no biggie let me just speed things up a bit fight
Okay, so invasion force was crushed. Slow the, the game down. And yeah, I can send the infantry back because they, they've taken quite a beating. Uh, but I can still use these infantry, these uh, horsemen. What's this guy doing here? Okay. Oh, and these guys are coming over here. Fight to defend the city. Slow down things a bit. And hopefully these horsemen will make it all the way to the city as fast as possible as as well. Oh, they will. Good, 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 good. Okay, so both invasion forces were defeated quite easily and I think my losses were minimal. Actually, except for these infantrymen. The horsemen lost almost nothing. Okay, mayb maybe some extra horsemen, but that doesn't matter. That was... I pretty much crushed them with no... with ease, with no problem whatsoever. Good, um... Yeah, the city is doing great. Sansu is here, which means that I'm doing great. Uh, Zhongdu is already starting to get back on their forces. But this time I can also send uh, Sansu with my troops. Let me just see if I can um, get at least one full fort of, of crossbowmen working. Oh, I think I know why I don't have lumber now. Obviously. Make sure that Sansu uh, stays as happy as possible. My horsemen are, are already back on their feet. And they have also gained some, some experience, which is, you know, double the win, so to say. Okay. Well, not all of them, but Chang'an becomes hostile. Who are those guys? Who's Chang'an? Okay, wow, he's got two shields, just like Zhongdu, whatever. I think I can pretty much attack, attack them now. Let me just enlist everything. And uh, yeah, that's it. And having Sun Tzu, the troops will move twice as fast uh, to the enemy city and, and back again, which is quite an, ad an advantage, I would say. Hygiene is no longer perfect. Oh yeah, I said that I was going to build the monuments. Well. You know, monument, bu monument building is not really that big of a deal. Uh, and also I'm, I'm missing some workers right now, so I, I don't know if I would really have... Good. And I got some... Uh, I got Zhongdu. Which is quite nice. I'm getting 900 strings, strings of cash per year. This, that's, that's more than I would have hoped for. And who are these guys? Fuzu. Oh. Nobody important really. If I think about it. Um, yeah, that's basically it. My troops are back. Make sure that you send them to your uh, fort. So that they uh, don't lose morale, because this is something that happens sometimes in this game. They just remain uh, away from the uh, from the forts for too long, and then they start losing their morale. Ah, this is pretty much it. Um, I'm not actually sure if I will be doing any more. Uh, walkthroughs. Basically, I've shown you guys in these five tutorials how to play the game. Maybe in the future I will be making a huge city, like I don't know, somewhere at 50 uh, noble 
noble houses that, that are as, as, as big as they should, you know, heavily compounds, and maybe something like uh, 20k population or something like that. Um, it would be nice for me to try it. Uh, of course, not with these uh, classical. Oh, this is the house that's making, that's giving me problems. Oh, I see. Well, anyway, um, oh, I think I know what the problem is. Actually, no, that's not the problem. What they attacked again? Okay, just keep freak off this time. Uh, and as you can see, they just gain a shield just by bribing them. So bribing them is not an option. Don't don't try to bribe people. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do something like 20k uh, city with with a lot of, of uh, big houses, big uh, heavily compounds like 50 or 20. I don't know if I can get 21 in one block. Maybe around 40. I'm not sure if I could get 50 of them, but you know something around 40 should be okay. Oh, again. Fuzu Zhongdu, who's Zhongdu? Oh, they, they attacked me. Wait, what? Ah, yeah, exactly. If they attack you and uh, you bribe them, then that counts as if they they won and they are now, f you, know, you know, independent. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and listening. Uh, I, if you've got questions, I'm always ready to answer them in the comments below. Um, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.